start creating a Facebook cover photo in Canva, I'll go to the Canva homepage and search for Facebook cover. Click on it in the drop down menu and you'll see a bunch of template options to get started. Facebook allows you to add videos as your cover art and Canva has some fun templates if that's the route that you want to go. They're indicated by a play button in the corner of the template. Whether you decide to use a video or a static photo, keep in mind that the Facebook cover gets cropped on the sides when people look at your business page on mobile. So if you add text to your cover art, you want to make sure that it's in the middle so nothing gets cut out. With that in mind, I'll go ahead and pick this template. It's simple, so I'll be able to show off the picture that I want to use well, and I like the font choices and that it's already center aligned. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is retitle this design so I can find it easily later. Just click up here and start typing. Let's go with CP Facebook cover and then hit enter to save it. The next step is the image. If you don't have your own photo yet, you can click on photos in the left hand navigation bar and just search for one. The little crown icons in the bottom of some of these pictures mean that they're not for free. They're included with Canva Pro, the paid subscription version of Canva, or you can buy each one for a dollar. But because we have our own photo, we can just upload it. So click on upload on the left here and then upload an image or video. I've already uploaded my image, so I can just grab it from this area here. If I just click on the image, it'll be added to the canvas on the right and I can click and drag it around. This is good for when you're adding elements like logos or icons to a design. I want this image to be the background though, and for that function, I find it easier to just drag it over. As you can see, it automatically becomes the background of my design when I do it that way. But I don't like how blurry the filter is on this, so let's go fix that. Click on the image and then click on filter on the toolbar that appears at the top. Click on none to reset this image. But now that looks kind of boring in comparison to what it was before, so let's go make it pop. You can play around with the preset filters here, or you can just click on adjust in the toolbar to manually change the different filter settings. For this image, I want it to be vibrant, but also for the text to be easy to read. So I'll turn down the brightness and increase the saturation. If you don't know what any of these terms mean, that's okay. I didn't either when I first started. Just play around with them and you'll figure it out quickly. Okay, I think that looks good. But we should still make the text easier to read. To do that, click on the text box and then on effects in the toolbar. I personally like the lift effect, which adds some darkness around each letter. Let's increase that up to 100. And if you click on none again and watch the text box here, you can see how much of a difference that made. So let's go ahead and add that back. And we'll also want to make sure that we're doing that for the second text box as well. Okay, so the last thing to change is what the text says. I'm going to do a short tagline for the top text box and repeat our company name on the lower. Now I don't want the top text box to take up two lines like it's doing right here. So what I can do first is extend the size of the text box. See, now it's on one line. But remember what I said about the mobile view of Facebook cropping the sides of cover photos? Let's use our safe text template to see if it'll do that on this image. So here's the safe text template that I've uploaded to my Canva photos. I'm going to click it and then drag and resize it so that it fits the canvas area. Then on this top toolbar, I'm gonna to click this gradient looking icon and make it transparent so that I can see the image behind it. As you can see, these black areas, which represent the cropped part, do cover a bunch of the caption. So I'm gonna drag this safe text template down a little bit and then click on the text box of the image to resize it again. I'm just gonna line it up with the lines of the black area so that I know that I'm in the safe zone. Then I'll highlight the text in the top box and resize it using the toolbar at the top so that it fits into one line. Awesome, looks like 85 does it. 
Now let's make sure that our text is in the center of the design because resizing can move things around. So just click and drag the text until you see these two intersecting pink lines. And finally, if I drag my safe text template up, I can see that all my text fits into the safe area now. So I can just delete the template by hitting delete on my keyboard. And now my Facebook cover photo is ready to download. Just come up here to the top where it says download and then click on this purple button. After this processes, you can upload your new graphic to your Facebook page.